All right, we're back with more Mortal Kombat 2 Remix here on Combat, Combat Time. Time. And um, I really didn't, like, show off more of the new stuff that was in here, namely the three new characters. Well, I and new is an operative word. Uh, the three characters that got a lot of touch-ups, which is uh, Noob, Smoke, and Jane, my girl. She come back. She come back. I hope this hasn't aged poorly in a couple of years. All right, so yeah. Uh, they're right in the middle there. There's Smokey, there's Newbie. <laughs> and there's JD. Smoke. Smoke. Johnny Cage. So yeah, I'm still, I'm still like half and half on, on preferring this announcer. To, ooh, that's a good picture of Smoke. That's custom made. So I thought we'd experiment with each of these new characters. Uh, pretty standard combo. Uh, well, what's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it drags them forward a little bit. And I guess that uses Sub Zero's ice slip sound effect reaction. Oh, sh. Oh! This is pretty sick already. Yeah, I kind of noticed that when I was initially playing around with this uh, fan game, uh, my first video of this, that e each character has like at least one pop up combo. The new normal, like it's usually two or three hits. A uh, running toss that seems to be disabled once they're popped up in the air. Yeah, 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 you can't do it when they're when they're popped up. You know, I'd rather that move just be disabled rather than maximum damage. What am I talking about? Maximum damage is the best. I'm not properly finishing that off. What a phenomenal. Uh, uh, uh. There you go. Excellent. What was that? What was that blood splash? Well, that looks cool. Uh, uh, uh. Outrageous. It was outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. outrageous. Whoa, smoke, smoke. And I have invisibility, which I really don't particularly care for in Mortal Kombat games. I guess it has its utility, but, you know, I'm not good enough of a player to do much of anything. But specifically to use invisibility while in fighting games. Um, but that's a pretty cool moveset. Um, I think, I think maybe we can move on and, and show off his fatalities at least. Because he has all new fatalities. Um... Okay, she turned into a gray skeleton. Um, uh, seven out of ten. Solid seven. Against Reptile, the, the punching bag of the MK unit. Come on. Oh, that's like his Mortal Kombat 9 fatal. That's like, a, that's like an 8.2. Aw, oh, cool. And a third one. Every character has three fatalities. Uh... Okay, threw an axe in his head. That's that's like six point five. And of course, everyone has a friendship. Is this a new one? Now buy a smoke doll. Got to buy it. Got to buy it. Smoke doll. The smoke doll did actually have smoke emanating off it. Seven out of ten. Um, that's okay for a portrait art. That looked a little goofy. Uh, okay. Boomerang. Donk! Not sure if that's the sound effect I would use, that donk. Anything else? Oh, okay, projectile inv invincibility. Cool that, uh, you know, it makes sense to use a lot of her MK3 moveset. Tricky Rang. How is that different? It might be something on reaction, like if you if the opponent blocks it, maybe it does something else, like it comes back the other way. Nitro kick? Yeah, that makes sense. I do wish this mod had like dummy options. Like it, its training is really basic, but when the game is this good and it has like cool combos and tech and shit, I, I'd rather you could like uh, set options on the dummy. Uh, 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 all right. That comes out a little inconsistently, or I'm inconsistent. It's just the lag online, rollback netcode, you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't work. 
Tony Cannon confirmed it doesn't work on Twitter. All right, Jade's, Jade seems okay so far. Doesn't have as many combos as the as uh, Smoke did. It wasn't really outrageous. It, really, it wasn't that crazy. But she's still solid or whatever. You know, taking these existing characters that were really, really basic in MK2 and, and doing this amount of stuff to them. But uh, we can move on to her, her fatalities. She might have some good ones. No, uh, uh. Oh, okay. Uh, Ultimate MK3 Fatal. Looks a little bit better, but, you know, it's the same thing. Basically, 7 out of 10? What else do we have? Okay! A better version of Johnny's MK1 Fatal. That's like an 8. It's like an 8.3. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's cool too. That's like another. That's like another eight. Good stuff, Jade. I don't know if there's any things I have to do special. Oh, it worked. Yeah, it'd be cool if she could pogo stick right into his head, but then that would just be a secret friendship into fatality. That's a six. Oh, that's sick. I'm gonna use that for the thumbnail. I can barely see my dude. What do I have? Mortal Kombat noises. God, those stuck around for until MK9, I wanna say. Wow, that looks cool. I feel that little bounce. I can't do a special off. Oh, I, I can go right into the projectile though. Maybe I can even juggle with a combo. Oh. Oh, that's a shitload of damage. I do think I have the damage jacked up, though. Cool. Go forth, my. I like. It's just a shadow self. The shadow has a shadow. Oh, you can do some fun stuff, for sure. <laughs> I was like, this should work, right? Cybot slide? Yeah, I'm noob, and this is my good friend Cybot. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, there's my pop-up already. I think some special moves are also disabled. So whatever's not too broken, right? There you go. Projectile makes sense, because it just knocks back further. I'm pretty shocked at the amount of balancing this game has. Like, while Noob seems pretty good with the teleport slam and the projectile in the air, they really at least thought about not making combos too crazy. At least my surface level knowledge. But yeah, Noob seems pretty strong as he should be. Not UMK3 uh, home version strong, but strong nonetheless. As you should. Why'd I fall on my ass? No, no, no. What even happened? Did I scare him to death? Uh, that's like a four. Fatality number two. Oh. A very good head rip, but it's a head rip nonetheless. Oh, um, it's like a six. It's easy to do. Number three. Uh. Oh. That's cool. These these all feel really in line with MK2 in general. It's like a 7.9. And what do we have for friendship? <laughs> that's more of a chameleon thing. Uh, that's kind of cute. That's that's like a 6.5. So I thought I'd do a brand new section of uh, this video that no one's ever done before. It's my whole unique uh, part of the video called Rate the Fatals. Uh, no one's ever done this on YouTube. Um, what I'm going to be doing is going through the rest of the cast and checking out their third fatality because everyone has a new one. It's pretty sick. We got Liu Kang. Better be good. Oh! Oh, Jesus! He punched his... Damn! Is that, like, authorized by the White Lotus? That's like a nine! Come on. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's just his MK3, but lamer? 
but also a little bit cooler. It's like a, it's like a five. Uh, no. <laughs> what is her obsession with like nails or spikes? It's still kind of cool that it incorporates a roll. Looks like a 7.7. .7. This is probably gonna be lame. It's not. That's hype as shit. That's like that's like a nine. Yeah, good stuff. Man, you suck. <laughs> Man, you suck. But that fatality didn't. That's like another nine. Reptile. Uh, oh, it's like his MK4 a little bit. That's still pretty cool though. His hat and his head are separate. Nice detail. 7.88? Uh, uh, no. Fuck. Uh. That's what you get. <laughs> nice using his ground pound. That's like an 8. 8.5. Okay. Alright. That's just his MK3. Fate fatal. It's a bit better though. It's still kind of lame. I don't know. Um, it's like a seven, seven point one. No, 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 fuck. Oh, those swords kind of look lame. He doesn't use those in the game. It's like a five. Eh. Yo, that one's sick. Incredible stuff, Katana. I can smell her perfume from here. Wait, Shang Tsung should have a... But Shang Tsung has three to begin with. In regular Mortal Kombat 2. So it might just be Kentaro's... The Kentaro transformation. We'll see. What is it? It said to do it... In, oh. Oh, is it like a random fatality that he does from the entire cast? Let's see. Oh. Yo! Oh! That... So he just transforms into the other characters. That's sick. That's like an... That's like an 8.7. Alright, so why don't we take one of the three characters and finish up with a little arcade run. We can see a new story sequence. Because I they don't get them in the regular game, so... Uh, there's the big battle plan. The, all the money that goes into organizing a tournament. It's crazy. Craft services. Alright, I don't expect much much problem against uh, Johnny Cage here. Uh, we'll, we'll just do teleport slam all day. And just uppercut off that. Why not? Yeah, I don't autocorrect. Uh, uh, Johnny doesn't... Johnny doesn't cross or does cross me up so i don't auto correct to the right side to uppercut him unless i really delay it uh i got the fatalities already i think his his head rip was easy to to do so maybe i can do that one uh, again i can't i can barely see myself in here i don't th there are other palettes you can take by pressing another button deeper hues of their basic color, like, oh my god, he has his trilogy shit! It's trilogy shit, but I believe that special move by Baraka was actually in, like, an early version of MK2. And they got rid of it because it was so fucking OP. But that's cool that it's in there. I mean, if you had spikes coming from your forearms, you'd do that too. Get hit! Damn it. Such a kid thing to do, just put, like, uh, cardboard inner tubes duct tape them to your forearms and just start spinning. What are you doing, Matthew? I'm I'm gonna be Baraka when I grow up. Okay. That boy ain't right. Finish him. Uh, is it? No, oh, whatever. It's fine. So yeah, we're just Melina, but she's like this deep orange brown. It's, you know, when I think of a uh, really cool fighting game character, uh, color schemes, brown is what I use. Ow! Brown is usually what I what I think of. Oh, what was that? 
so yeah, even though I only went through the three main characters, uh, newish characters in this, everyone in the cast has at least like one new special move, it seems. Uh, mostly stuff from like uh, Ultimate MK3 or Trilogy, but let's see what a what a his uh, stage fatal is. That's that's super easy. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. Yeah, a lot, lot less uh, bodies and things down in the pit. Still looks cool, but yeah, it's just, it's just that one developer's head. I think I mistakenly said it was Ed Boon's head. It's not. I forget whose it is though. People will let me know. They'll, they'll let me know in the comments. So I think it, it along with the Living Forest, I think the Deadpool has been recreated in the most Mortal Kombat games. It, it, that or the pit or something like that, right? This, the pit, some variation of the pit, and the living forest. And like, it should, because it's like one of the coolest stages in, in fighting games, really. It's one of the most Mortal Kombat ones, that's for sure. It's like, it's been in this, it's been in, uh, I think there was a version in uh, MK4, I don't think that one did. But Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance slash Deception had it, and I think all the mo modern Mortal Kombats had it. Uh. You're going. You're going for for a swim there, Jax. Oh, he didn't say it, so I'll say it. Oh. So I'm not sure if there's any new stage fatals in this game. It'd be cool if there was. I don't know. And I think this game is still being developed. Like I don't think it's like finished, finished. So it might be there eventually. I'm not sure. Uh, if we get the combat tomb, I'll try to do the stage fatal there. Uh. Oh my god. I can do the- Ow! Shit, that was sick. I can do the air fireball when it's blocked. Okay, there's the stage rip. Sorry, I, I can do a jumping attack and if that gets blocked, I can still do the projectile in the air? That's sick. I, th I think, honestly, this is one of the best looking stages in this entire uh, game, my fan game we were playing. The, the scrolling is so pitch perfect, it looks so smooth and nice, and the added effects of uh, the steam or smoke coming off the, uh, the lava, it, it's so subtle, but it looks so good, and just the coloring of the stage, mwah. Uh, yeah, yeah. How do you like that, Sub-Zero? I bet you hate that shit. Fatality. The turntables. Yeah, we already talked about the Deadpool, obviously. But yeah, it, it, it's improved, I think. Uh, maybe not a ton, but overall it is. And the other subtle thing, I'm not sure, I, I think I mentioned it very, very briefly, but some of the some of the more distinct characters have their own voice samples. Like, there's a bit of modulation on noobs here. Reptile has little uh, growls and stuff. I think if any character is kind of, like, special, they, they have a, a subtle voice mod to them, so they sound a little bit distinct from everyone else, which is an incredible amount of detail. But more so than the MK team did originally. Uh, you go in there too. And and I'm still I'm still pretty pissed that uh, Mortal Kombat 1 has no stage fatals. Like that's ridiculous that uh, this this we're, we're we're like what? 4 months since the game's launch and I didn't even realize until until people made me aware they're like, "Oh yeah, the the most mar modern MK games like 11 and 10 didn't have stage fatals in them at launch." And and granted MK1 needs a lot more like I don't know improvements and stuff before into its core gameplay or its features rather. Uh, maybe before they they add that stuff. But th but I'm scared that you know those stage fairs gonna come out and it's fifty nine ninety nine. Warner Warner Brothers Warner Brothers is just not stopping with the uh, the uh, immense amount of greed. A little weird that Kitana made a male grunt there. So yeah, the Living Forest, I think I mentioned this in the first video, but definitely got some improvements here. Looks a lot, a lot more like Fangorn Forest now than, than every, the, anything else. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, if I could just knock someone into a, um, 
live in forest mouth and have have them meet my opponent like mk9 that'd be nice wouldn't it everyone can enjoy that all right here's combat tomb so we'll try to do the stage fatal here i'll fatalize them and like even when you do a regular uppercut we're touching the spikes we are so touching them. and when i'm doing the teleport slam i'm going through them I demand realism in my Mortal Kombat. It's it's almost required. And I saw some comments from people in the last video uh, of this game saying, I like the effort put into this, but I don't like Mortal Kombat 3 mechanics uh, being put on there. That's totally a subjective thing. I can understand. Ooh. Hold down just in case. Nice. I like how their bodies are slightly curved. It's a little bit more realistic with, uh, I demand realism, uh, a little bit more curved because that's what gravity would kind of do rather than they be like straight as a board. Um, but yeah, going back to that, uh, I totally understand someone being like, well, I, I, I don't think Mortal Kombat 3 mechanics, you know, that's not Mortal Kombat 2 anymore. I, I get you, but at the same time, I think they help the game, the gameplay like immensely. It's, it's just more exciting to go through it for me. But if someone's like, oh yeah, that's that's not Mortal Kombat 2 to me. Yeah, okay. You know, I, I can't say that you're wrong because it's it's not Mortal Kombat 2. It's just that if a game is better gameplay wise, or at least has more uh, depth to it. Wow, Sreptile just took all of those on the face. And it, it, I, I would think that you should, you should probably take some of those lessons and apply it on an older game. Uh, let's see. Poor Reptile. He doesn't deserve this shit. Get ready! For what? Oh. So, yeah, this doesn't make much sense to me. I, I might have mentioned this last time, but it's a... You, you have found a passage from the Outworld to the Earth Realm, but then we just go back to Outworld. Because we don't go to the pit from Mortal Kombat 1, like Shang Tsung's Island. We go to the pit 2, that it is clearly an outworld. Yeah. So it's like a tiny thing. The, the text should just be changed slightly. That's, that's what... Because we're fighting Hornbuckle, who's clearly an outworld because he's in the back of the stage. Uh, fighting with Blaze, I guess. Take this shit. Just have the text say you have you have going to a secret area, or prepare yourself to go back to the pit too. And we were just at the pit too, so we we got teleported to to where we were. It's it's such a minor thing. Who really cares? You're go you're going to Horn Bucky. Yeah. Such a minor thing, but you could change that. You can change the text slightly. Now you must return to the outworld where we are. If it's got purple skies, we're in the outworld. You know that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for those letting me uh, letting me know that it is accurate to have uh, Shang Shang Tsung two do a little like slide slash glide because that's how he traveled in Mortal Kombat one. But I thought that was because his like legs were enfeebled because he's so old and nasty. So he had to levitate himself because his legs don't work good. But maybe not. How about right in front of you guys? The disrespect is real, but it should be. I'm the king of hate. Your presence here is unwanted. Finish them, Kintaro. What a cool little little detail though. I, I did talk about this uh, before, but yeah, the, the AI of this game is is very fair, like, yeah, on normal, I haven't played it on, like, hard or anything, but it's it's probably the the, the best uh, balancing I've seen on a Mortal Kombat uh, fan game in, like, forever. And his fire spit is, like, so much easier to deal with. I remember it being a long-range projectile in the original game, but maybe my memory's fuzzy on that. Prepare to die. It will be glorious. Disappoint me. How do I disappoint you? I beat Kentaro. Ow! I like purple Shao Kahn. It's regal. It's not all too easy. I just beat you in the first round. I slapped and bopped your shit. Talk about hollow confidence. Ow. 
<laughs> that was the perfect. Oh, I hate that spear. Uh, yeah. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just jumped down from the sky. I guess. Don't save Sonya. Just leave her there. You know. Kano too. Let's see, Numa Sabat largely stood by throughout the Dark Tournament as a silent witness to its events, but of all the freakishly strange competitors he watches do battle, it's none other than the rival ninja Scorpion and Sub-Zero who capture his attention the most. It is a sight of the ice and hellfire ninjas that spears uh, him to act. The race uses the first opportunity to engage both ninjas in Mortal Kombat, fighting to a standstill the Saibot vanishes, leaving both ninjas with a sense that they faced a specter from their past. Who, what? Who could he even be? So that's Mortal Kombat. To remix part two, uh, do let me uh, know in the comments if you'd like to see more, uh, anything like that. Maybe I can get Justin on this. Uh, I I, th I think our skill levels will be somewhat comparable for like the first match, and then he'll proceed to trounce me. I I can't even ask ketchup or mustard on it because the hell did Kenny too. Everyone's better at Mortal Kombat than me. I barely pressed the block button there. I'll see you next time on Combat Time. <laughs>